welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be going over 10 things that I honestly don't like about my race mower stay tuned to the end the 10th one is gonna be the craziest <laughs> So starting off, let me, let me explain it real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about it. So basically it's a 459cc Predator engine in it right now. It used to have a six horsepower engine and I'm like, no, get that out of there. Throw the, throw the 17 in there, so uh, yeah, really good. I had to make some custom custom work, as you can see. I cut, cut that out right there so I could put the engine in, slid the engine over a little bit. If you come over here, over here put a eight inch pulley right on the engine and this right here is a custom exhaust pipe got that got that off of like a car car headers and just grinded it right off got john deere tires in the front still the original tires on the back and this is 1960s sears so um yeah pretty cool glad i built it but you know there's some stuff that I'm just not good about it first thing is the seat see look at this like it's a solid seat but the thing is metal i use this because there's padding right there feels good yeah tush tush and uh so anyways that's that seat you gotta get a custom seat you know you have to get one next is going to be it's probably going to be the suspension or should i say not the suspension See, this thing has no suspension whatsoever. I mean, normal mowers, they don't really have suspension. Um, but at least normal mowers, you know, the seat is an actual seat. The thing is just solid metal and it has no suspension. Nothing, nothing. So it's really bumpy when you're driving it. When I go to shift it to a different gear, it grinds because I don't have a transmission stop. So the transmission just keeps going. If I go to shift into another gear, it just grinds, so. <laughs> Number four is, it's gonna be how rusty and just old it is. You know, you, you can say it's nice. You know, it's nice, but it is rusty. And rusty's not a bad thing, you know? He's a good guy, but um, I'm just kidding. He needs some work. You know, it does, it does, it really does. I try to paint it, you know, I try to paint it white, tire rims, you know. But I think I think I just need to get it all nice and spruced up. You know what I mean. The fifth thing is is gonna be when I'm sitting on it. Okay, I'm sitting on it. I'm gonna steer. The steering wheel is just not good at all. All right, like it's just tiny. It is. It's just it's cracking, cracking all over the place. I, I gotta get a better a better steering wheel. You know. Maybe even if I get like the, t the grip around it, you know, I gotta get something. Definitely new steering wheel. I don't really like the steering wheel at all. And number six, it's gonna have to be when I go to start it. See, when I go to start, I have to reach all the way down here, okay? And I could I could hook up an ignition, you know, up here, but um, I haven't really got to that yet, you know? But anyways, when I go to start it, I have to put choke on all the way over here to start it up that's yeah, just a pain definitely if you guys are going to build a race mower you, you got to put the choke like up here instead of going all over here you know what i mean number eight it's it's gonna be uh what is it gonna be it's gonna be how tall it is see at first i wanted to make this thing a drift mower but you know i worked with what i had so i did i did so um i definitely don't like the tires on the back i gotta get smaller tires and i think i want a little wider ones as well look at how dry cracked these are it's so bad so i just need it to go down a little bit because when i'm going around the corner this thing is easily on three wheels half the time you go take a turn, whatever, three wheels. You might be like, oh, it's because you're not leaning. I'm I, I'm leaning. I'm like halfway off the thing. And it's still on three wheels. You know? So I gotta bring it bring it all the way down. 
you know, make it make it a little lower. And number nine, guys, it's probably gonna be that I can't get this uh, hood off without unbolting these, unbolting this. It's just, it's a pain. You might be saying, why did you make it a pain on yourself? Well, that's a good question, it really is. I still haven't even figured it out myself. I had these pieces laying around, like, like I said, it's a custom build, you know? Custom race mower. I definitely wanna change it someday soon. I don't really like it. I, I wanna be able to just lift up the hood whenever I want, you know? Just, you know. You know? Tenth thing, guys, is, is the clutch and how it all works and the foot pedal, you know? This foot pedal, it's not bad, but if I actually have like a nice pedal, it'd be so much better, you know? be so much better but you know work with what i got it works i guess that's right here this is how you move the clutch this is this is the clutch so if you, if you go right here okay if you come around here see, see this belt right here see this when i left the lever when i lift the lever up that goes up so that this belt can slide freely so that whole mechanism it's just eh it's all right it works it works, okay? But ideally, I'd put a four-wheel rear end in this, make it chain-driven, and just, you know, use a little lubricant, too. And when I pull this up, sometimes I'm going, all right, and I go to pull this up to, like, stop it, pull in the clutch, and sometimes this lever won't come up. Like, it's, like, stuck. So, it's just terrible. Those are 10 reasons why you really shouldn't build a race mower. But, um, make sure you guys check out my other video that's going to be released in a couple weeks on 10 things i love about this mower and why you guys should definitely build a race mower so make sure you guys watch the other video thank you so much for watching you guys subscribe and uh, like the video share with your friends And this is why you should not build a resort.